Another episode, another loss. You already know the drill. Uh, this set is Ancient Sanctuary. I'm on the wrong website. Holy, holy. Okay, YGO Pro deck. Sorry, I completely forgot to switch there. Anyway, uh, yes, Ancient Sanctuary. Uh, the only really notable card in the secret slot is the end of Anubis, which is basically just like Necro Valley on legs. Um. Nothing like super noticeable, and I mean, I guess King of the Swamps like decent. Uh, Agent of Creation Venus gets you like bodies. You got Shine Ball. Uh, Draining Shields decent. Soul Resurrection is decent. Um, the Ultra Rares of Econ Curse of Anubis. Uh, that's basically it. <laughs> I guess Blowback Dragon. In the Super Rare we have a Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch, Stone, a Statue of the Aztecs, and yeah, that's basically it. And commons are a bunch of commons, you already know the drill. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the Illusions Wheel for episode 9. Hopefully we're able to, you know, pull something actually useful. Please. Oh, come on. <laughs> Well, I will be right back with turn packs because I need to see what we have available to us right now. So I will be right back. And we are back. I'm um, decided to open tournament pack four just to hopefully get a Mega Morph or a uh, Fiend Mega Cyber. Other than that, it's just like stuff that's like, yeah, it's just cool and all. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to start with why are they so small? There's like three cart. Whatever, let's just get this over with. Well, we actually managed to pull one. I was not expecting that. We actually got, also got a morphing jar, which is... Interesting. I don't know if we'll be able to use that at all, but we'll see. Uh, next up, we are opening at 24 packs of Ancient Sanctuary because if I am looking at these sets correctly, the next set is Dark Beginnings 1. If I'm not mistaken. So, want to keep some stuff for that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to this opening. All right, um, let me just check something. I'm not going to re-roll, but I just want to see real quick. Uh, tool, no, sort. Uh, so we got many Mystic Shine Balls. Do we get any? Damn, it doesn't look like I got any of the, uh, oh, I got one. I got one, uh, Venus or whatever. Yeah, it's Venus. Uh, I got one Zaborg, which is like whatever. Um, this card, based on, oh, based on normal monsters. That might be playable. Might just side those, honestly. Uh, other than that, you know, not not terrible. We got the Redraining Shield, which is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, that is it for the pack openings for this episode, and I will see you in deck building. I mean. Last week's episode was chaos. This week's episode just brings an ancient sanctuary. <laughs> Don't know why I was going with that. Now, Sam did go over what we have on our ban list, which is pretty much a bunch of really good cards that I have, and he doesn't, apart from one, when it being uh, Nobleman, because I don't like that card right now. 
and he just has a bunch of cars on there he doesn't like, including Secret Barrel, which got banned last episode, if you don't know. Um, Sam also, I have agreed to, you know, let him attempt to bring BLS to two, so he may have a fighting chance, but he must beat me in this episode. However, once we do get into the duel, I will mention that, but he must agree to my terms to do it. Let's see if he does, though. That much he doesn't know. <laughs> Let's see what my winner's will is. Um, give me something good. I deserve it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that is beautiful. A wild card from any set, including structure decks, 10, and a promo. It's, it's not on there. But that is beautiful. Now, I was sitting here debating between Ancient Sanctuary and uh, the next set, which is uh, Soul of the Duelist. Which one I want to do my just a 50 on because I want to, I think in not this episode, but two episodes next uh, is Dark Beginnings 1. So I wanted to have a full 150 for that so I can get three boxes. So I'm picking Ancient Sanctuary for this. So let's crack these 24 packs open. See what we pull. See y'all in a minute. So, I can honestly say I got pretty much what I wanted. Uh, I didn't really expect to get a lot, but I did get one Curse of Anubis. And I got the one End of Anubis, which really good because if Sam is going back to Chaos, then I really do need those uh, for Graveyard. I got the Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Masters. I think I did get three. I got, I got something planned for this guy. That's all you got to know. Um, if I'm able to do what I really want to do. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, I didn't really expect much out of this one because it is what it is. But yeah, uh, let's save this to the collection. Let's look at our pr promos and see what we're getting. And I will let y'all know in the duel itself what promo i have picked see y'all in a bit so uh as you probably figured i'm playing chaos again yay uh fortunately uh, oh actually before i do my actual deck uh let me showcase the ban list that we have so far uh, all these cards are banned for various reasons that's like the only one of my cards that is banned. Uh, then these are all limited. So, you know. Uh, however, if I win this episode, uh, I can get this at two. So, and by that, I mean Sinjin will allow us to play it at two. So, uh, hopefully that works out. But uh, yeah, on the actual list, it's, it's just chaos. There's nothing else to say. Um, the only really change that I made is uh, nice English. Uh, just adding the Fiend Mega Cyber to rush recklessly. Then, um, I think that's it for the main deck. And then the side deck, I just added the uh, Draining Shield. I think that's basically all the changes I made. So, um, yeah, uh, that's it for me. And I will see you in the duel. Peace. So, here's the deck for this week. Now, 
let's talk about the elephant that's in the room right now, aka end of Anubis. Now, as y'all know, this basically negates any effect that targets a spell trap monster that it targets cards in the graveyard and that activate in the graveyard. Now, yes, that means that Sam can still banish stuff. However, it means I can't use my Sinister Serpent, which is actually the card that I chose as my promo card to go and grab because this card be good. This card be really good and don't really get it until like 2012 actually and from what I saw and having it in my deck would be really great for things that allow me to discard as in Dark Core and Ragaki Break. So yeah. This is more or less a kind of a normal control beatdown type strategy. Um, I'm mostly relying on protection spells and traps to try to get in for everything. The only other things that I kind of thought about grabbing was like Graceful Charity or like Harpy's Feather Duster. But in the end, I ultimately decided on Sinister Serpent as I just felt that it was the better card to pick. So hopefully this works out if not sam and i have already stated he does not know about what my condition is for the whole should he win with be getting bls to two but if i win this will be my ninth win in a row i'm going to say he must accept the terms essentially making a deal with the devil i guess you can say and he must accept the terms without knowing what they are. So will he? I don't know. But let's find out in the duel. And here we are! The sanctuary that has been laid out in front of us for the duel for episode 9. Sam! Mm hmm You must always ask. Did you have some good pulls this episode? I mean, they were, they were decent for Ancient Sanctuary. <laughs> That was pretty good, too. Uh, I think we were talking off-screen before this, but I think we both pulled the Zara story. Yep. Now, we have both mentioned this and separateness uh, between you and your deck editing, I think you said. Yeah. Me and my deck editing. What's the conditions if you win? So, if I win, uh, we get to put BLS at two instead of just one. But I mentioned in my deck editing, should this happen, you must accept my terms without knowing what they are. What? Why would I ever do that? No, it, no. This, this is something that is benefiting you right now. Really? See, I only have one BLS. Uh -huh. You have two. So this is benefiting you. So how bad... Do you want BLS to two? Do I mean, you accept my terms without even knowing what they are? I'm not going to accept right the deal, but I don't know the terms. <laughs> it's a deal with the devil, Sam. Do, do you feel confident enough to win this duel? I mean, I'm to not going to accept BLS that. To put BLS to two. It, <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to accept anything I don't know the terms of. I will give you... Okay, fine. Do, do you want me to... It involves... The ban list is all I'm saying. I no, get to do I'm something to the ban list. <laughs> no, I'm I, definitely not going to I get to do something with the ban list also. No, I'm, I'm Should I pass. win? Okay. I'll, I'll pass. Okay. I, see, see, I think that's fair. You get to do something with the ban list should you win. I should also get to do it. It's only fair. Is it uh, not? I don't need you bringing back one of your broken cards. Okay. I guess we'll see after this episode then. If you made the right decision. Now, we get to draw for turns. I think I want to go second. This is a hand. I see you went with a 50 card deck. I went with 46. Well, you know what? I liked what you did so much. I think I'm going to do about the same. You tell me if that's cyber draw, right? Uh oh 
Mad Dog of Darkness. Oh, hello. Hi, it's Cyberjar. Oh! Really? You're going to pay 15 for that? Yep. Okay. What do you have? Okay. Go. At least I know you don't have any more cyber jar. I do have a singing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> okay, like, kick man or something. <laughs> Would you like me to reveal something that is in my deck? I mean, you, you do whatever you want to. I don't... Let's just say... I had to make a deal this episode myself. And my promo... And my will was so gracious to me. And granted me a chance to pull anything I wanted. You might say something sinister. That's what this was about? Sinister, Serpent? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a terrible discard fodder. I mean... Sure, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I get hand advantage. Really? Why do you want to keep this mad dog around? Fine, I'll, I'll bring up my mad dog. No. <laughs> Order to charge. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Just gonna like neg three to get rid of a single. <laughs> I mean, I don't banish my mad dog. Oh, come on. Really? Well, fine. I'll pull summon an arch fiend. Yes, that's what you want. What you have? Blade Knight? Dark Jero? Why? <laughs> don't, don't question my. Uh, I know motives. why, but why? Why? Um. Really? I can you break your back row, if you don't mind. That's fine, doesn't really matter. <laughs> I get the doggo! That's fine. <laughs> this battle of the doggo! Give me. Why? 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 Take my hundred. Or gain my thousand, I mean. Hi. See, not only is he good for that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
We do have a light and dark in the graveyard. I need to be mindful of that. That's a bottomless hand. Oh. See how much fun it is when Pot of Greed's up one? Huh? Mm -hmm. See how much fun it is when Pot of Greed's up one? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to crash. Okay. I'm going to normal summon. Guess what? Um... Why? <laughs> okay. On uh, at two thousand. Oh. Uh, moth. Oh, I totally forgot about them. I did not put moth in my deck. I'll be honest. Uh... Um, I actually don't really have that many good spells in my graveyard. <laughs> Snatch Steel and my body. Uh, I guess I'll just take Snatch Steel. <laughs> okay. He do be um, snatching. Okay. I'm going to activate my Geki Break on your face down. Why? Beast <laughs> uh, Storm? <gasps> no. Okay, chain. What? Oh, you're just getting this thing against there, so that's fine. I'm gonna banish the light in the dark. Because of course you are. No. No. <laughs> Okay, well, Thunder Dragon. <laughs> really? Sam, guess what? Uh, Go, my m friend. Oh, God, Merchant. Mill. Oh. oh, come on. <laughs> I'll say mill BLS, please. Okay, how, about, how, about, how about we don't do that, actually? How about we do do that, uh, actually? I'm going to summon the Fiend Mega Cyber. Oh, that, that do be a card. I'm going to activate Raigeki. Why? Same game. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be fun next turn. I'll take it. Someone has a magic cylinder. <laughs> I believe that's Cyber Jar. <laughs> Do you? Is the question. Could um... be anything. Could literally be anything. Could even be a boat. I mean, you know what? I don't think it's Cyber Jar. 
just in case. If it's Cyberjar, it's Cyberjar. It doesn't really matter. It do be Cyberjar. Uh, no. Of course. All the haunted bring back. Sure. Because of course you have that. <laughs> because of course you have that. Seriously? Did you have a problem with me adding Sook? Yep. Cause you're just gonna book my talk. It resolves, so... Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh... uh... <laughs> okay. I uh, definitely knew that's how that worked. Yep. Why? Why can't I have nice things? Huh? Why can't I have nice things? So many, uh, kick man? Uh oh. Or Do you that, see you know. an equipped card in my graveyard? I mean, yeah, you can still summon it. <laughs> oh well. Get that out of my face. Nice ring you got there. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Um, 
really want to do this. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's funny. Why are you snatch stealing my monster? Really? <laughs> Guardian Sphinx? It could be anything, you know. It could be Guardian Sphinx. Could be Guardian Sphinx. Could be something else. Come on. <laughs> My Geki break. You sure you want to do that? Yes, because I know what that, that is. Do you? Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Uh, I, I, I knew you had Thunder Dragon in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's a spear be real fun. I'm, I'm going to attack the other one. <laughs> Whatever, I guess I can still. Yeah, figured. He be legendary. <gasps> it's your boy. Sinister Serpent. <laughs> Coming back to the hand. But. It be smiling down on me today! Oh, read. Must be nice. I mean, it's also nice for her. Okay. Get him out of here. Why would you want to do that? What? What? Why do you do that? Because I have reasons. What? I have my reasons. Don't judge. Uh, okay. Mill BLS. Come on. <laughs> yes, come on, Mill BLS. Uh, why don't you want to attack me? Because. Because why? Because. You can literally attack me right now if you wanted to. What's stopping you from attacking me? Uh, thing you can't see my face now. Hmm. <sighs> How much do I got? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Can we not? Uh, kill your Gemini elf. But why? Because why not? Well, uh... anyways, uh, Spear Reaper is a uh, very annoying. <laughs> yes, he mm. is.
Gotta think for a second. <laughs> Do you? Um. Do I really want to do this? I think I have to. Uh, I'm going to banish a light in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Pryo. Banish. Ryugoki. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh man. Interesting. Um Get him out of here. I finally win! <laughs> yeah! And I'll be honest with you, and all it took was me to literally play a deck that just didn't really do anything. <laughs> see! See! See, I went into this to give you the chance. You, you won't be totally honest with you. Mm. I went into this not really wanting to win. If I'm being totally honest. I mean, yeah, I, can ima I can't imagine why. But however, however, see, see, you could have accepted my deal, but you I'm didn't. Not, I'm not letting you unban cards that I've paid. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I guess, you know, your I'm friend's not that going... desperate for another copy of BLS. So, okay, what was your, uh, what was your spin this episode? You'll, you'll never guess. <laughs> Tournament packs. Yep. <laughs> well, you'll never guess what mine was! What was it? Promo. Hence the reason why Sinister Serpent's in the deck. Must be nice. <laughs> yep. No, but seriously though, uh, I really just put this deck together for the sense where it was just like, I did not care if it was a win or lose situation because I knew what you were already bringing. I knew that BLS was going to be an issue. I didn't really care much about CED. Mm -hmm. So it's just the fact that I was trying to combat BLS more than CED in all honesty. Yeah. And I was thinking that, you know, well, you know, we've been doing the 60 card decks, but when you told me that, oh, no, I didn't do 60, I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even know you did 50, honestly. I did 46. And I find it funny that my deck was like, uh, th this is me being salty for a minute. Like, I'm being le legit salty for a minute. Your deck was bigger than mine, but seemed way more freaking consistent, which is bull spit. I mean... <laughs> Anyways, Sam, would you like to tell them what next week's episode is? So, um, in my actual episode, I said that the next episode was Dark Beginnings, but there's actually an episode before that, which is... I literally have the tab open. Where is it? Soul of the Duelist. Here it is. So, we just did Ancient Sanctuary, so the next is Soul of the Duelist. Would you like to tell them some fun cards that come in Soul of the Duelist? I know one card. Let's see what we... Okay, internet, please. Oh, oh, what just happened? Oh, here we go. Um, oh, the uh, the Horus cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, all that, like, fun level stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mobius the Frost Monarch. Mm-hmm. Um... Fun cards. Fun mind cards! <laughs> yes, Mind Crush. I can now Mind Crush your BOS. Yep. Anyways, but that's next episode. Sam, do you have anything else you would like to say today? Um, no. <laughs> and besides, 
if he would have accepted my deal and I would have won, yeah, Jinzo would have only been at one. Yeah, I'm not dealing with Jinzo. <laughs> well, guys, we did enjoy today's episode. Now it's time down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Until next time, peace out. Happy gaming. Sinjin. And Linus. Out.